Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Sproul and I just wanted to make a quick video with some tips on how to do your math work on your Chromebook without having to print anything out. When you do your work for tomorrow and you go to Google Classroom and you click on the math activity for today, this should pop up. And what I like about this activity today is that you'll be able to type your answers into the document. And so I thought I'd just do a couple of sample problems. Uh, so that you guys can see what to do. So as you can see, they have um, find the total number of stars in each row by the multiplication equation. Well, when they say row, they mean like this whole section. So they already did this one for us. So how many circles do I see? I see one, two, three, four. How many stars are in each circle? So just one of those circles, I see one, two, three. They've already answered that. And then how many stars all together? Well, they're going to have me write the number of circles, one, two, three, four times the number in each circle, one, two, three, and then count them all up, you'll get 12. Now, instead of having to write this out um, or print it out or put it on a piece of paper, uh, a copy should be made for you as you click on it. And what you'll want to do is go on to the next one. It says, how many circles? I'm going to count them up. One, two, three, four, five. And I actually can just click in here and type the number five. How many stars are in each circle? One, two, three, four. And I can just click four. And now I'm going to click in this box. I know that it's five circles times four in each circle, and I could count by five on four fingers, five, 10, 15, 20, or I could count the numbers, number of stars uh, that I see in this whole box, which would be 20. And so you're gonna do that for the rest of this page. Now, the next page is a chart, and we're wanting to be focusing on the patterns, but before we do that, we wanna make sure we fill out each row. So these boxes right here go with these circles right here. And once again, you can just type in here and I'm going to type, okay, one, two circles. How many stars are in each circle? One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to do my, um, my sentence, my multiplication sentence, two circles times five in each circle equals uh, five, ten. 10 circles. And I'm going to keep filling it out, keep filling it out. And then the last thing that you're going to want to do is, is what patterns do you see? What are you noticing as the number of circles increases? And what is the product? How does that increase? And so you'll just select this right here. And you can just type your answer right here. And then finally, guys, when you go to when you're finished, of course, check all your work. It's only two pages um, and you don't have to put your name on it because uh, it, your name will be attached to it. But if you look up in the top right hand corner right now, mine says share. Yours, however, will say turn in and make sure that you click turn in when you're completely done. So just to review, this is your math work for tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, April 7th. So you might be looking at this on April 7th. So it could be today's work. It's day four. You're going to want to click in the box and type your answers. And then click in each of these boxes and type your answers. If for some reason you've messed up, you can always click the back button or you can shoot me an email. And when you're finished and you've typed your answers to the pattern that you see, Instead of clicking share, it should say turn in. Can't wait to see all your work, and I hope that this is a simpler task where you can show off your learning.